green flag. We go racing. It is Logan Seavey and Hank Davis leading them down. Seavey gets out, dragged, raced by Davis down the back straightaway. Lap number one, chalk it up on that bingo card. Oh. Davis is leading, however, problems in turn number three. And that's Spencer Baston upside down. I believe McDermott is involved as well. Out of corner number four, we're green to the Chili Bowl Amy. And this time, CV way better launching from the bottom. Davis is actually going to fall out of line and into fourth. And Davis drifting back on the original start. Lap number one belongs to Logan CV as he will set the pace here on this field. McIntosh is all over him, though, and now Cannon going up to try to work around CV. He's got a good run. Is it there? Too far around in one and two. Forcing there looking for oh, second. Oh, what a move by Cannon McIntosh off the corner. Gets up underneath in turn number three. Battle for the lead. 40 to go. Here 10 laps down, or 15 laps down, and Cannon McIntosh going to have a run, but Logan CV just good strong through the middle. Well timed for CV. McIntosh, big run on the bottom. CV gets down to throw of the tomahawk chop in the block. Changing up his line, forcing Cannon to make an adjustment. Now Logan back to the bottom of one and two. Cannon's going to try to circle in and through the middle. Back straight away and still just a car length separating them as we are 20 laps in. There McIntosh he goes. with the move. McIntosh down low as CV slipped up. And on lap 21, Cannon McIntosh leads. Logan CV made a little bit of a mistake. Cannon McIntosh able to diamond off and got up underneath. Here at the halfway point of this main event, and it's Cannon McIntosh with the lead, but Logan CV picking up the pace once again. McIntosh hanging it wide off of four. CV a little more committed to the bottom of the racetrack, but they are in heavy lap cars as McIntosh goes bouncing off the cushion. CV right there on the bottom to block, and look at him change lines just like that. CV the racecraft. No and Cannon would likely go down to try to save the position. Goes to the high side and now looking to circle McIntosh for the lead. Yeah, Cannon was trying to search for a lane. Oh, Spencer Basin on the wall right in front of your leaders. Everybody gets through. Caution is out, though. That could have been disastrous for both Cannon McIntosh, Logan Seavey, as Chris Windham is spun around in turn number four. The lights are out. We're back racing. Yeah, 16-9 for Kyle Jones. Keep an eye on that car as we're back underway. Cannon Mack goes top shelf. And through the middle goes Logan Seavey trying to take that Swindell car through the middle. He decides to go top shelf, opening the door for Tanner Thorson. It's a three-car battle at the front. Seavey holds on a second. Crossover move high to low. And Seavey's going to retake the lead on the restart. Logan Seavey, the middle of one and two. That is his home sweet home at the moment as we complete our 31st lap around this track, and CV's got the lead, and now it's Thorson who has taken over second position and is chasing after your race leader. There's Golubic, and there's Emerson Axum on his tail end. It's actually vice versa. It's Golubic getting by Axum, and into your top four is Rico Abreu had dropped out of it, something serious, and we got a car upside down. That is Brent Cruz. Logan CV Thorson and McIntosh will lead them back under the green flag. That's a good launch out of CV getting into turn number one. He's going to buy him a little bit of breathing room over Thorson, who's doggedly pursuing him, looking to go back to back of the Chili Bowl Championships. And don't look now, Cannon McIntosh is not done. But Golubic is there as here you go. Battle up front coming to eight laps to go. Tanner Thorson sniffing the lead underneath Logan Seavey. Logan Seavey's going to block the bottom in turn one and two. That's what he's done the last several times. What does Tanner Thorson have coming through three and four? Tanner's just got to clean up his three and four. That's really where it is. That's where Thorson gets close to him in one and two. They're all completely even. In fact, Logan looks to be a little bit better at this point. Two car lengths separate them. We're coming into six to go. Logan CD's looking for his first Chili Bowl win. There comes Tanner, though, leaning hard on that right rear, trying to figure out what it's going to take to get around his former teammate, Logan CD. Two car breakaway at the front. They started to pull away from Cannon McIntosh. Five fingers in the air, side by side at the start finish line. The battle is on for the Chili Bowl Nationals. Logan CV, all sorts of pressure coming from Tanner Thorson. CV decided that he wanted to get to the low side of three and four and maybe make Tanner get off the groove that he's been in and drive around him. Tanner all over the rear bumper of Logan CV. As CV's move to the bottom brought Thorson closer in three and four. 
Thorson peaked in the middle. No dice. CV low. Thorson again peeking into the middle. Nothing there. Tries the bottom at turn number two. The next time around, two laps to decide the Chili Bowl. What will Tanner Thorson do to go back to back? Can Logan CV hang on? He's trying not to make a single mistake. Both drivers hunting for the bottom side of the racetrack. Logan CV may have slipped a little bit. Thorson is there through turn number four. The doctor's jacket's going to be in the air. CV one more time around the Expo Raceway. Playing a little defense is Logan CV down to the final fifth mile. Thorson looks underneath in turn number two as they roll into turn number three. And out of corner number four. Caution is out. Oh, no. Caution flag waves coming to the checkered flag. We will get a shootout to the finish, and it's Rico Abreu stuffed up. Let's finish it off the right way. CV needs an excellent start here. So far, looks like he's got it. He's got to get through four more corners. It's down to six. Now he's got to get through four more corners. Into three, CV to the white flag. Thorson, using all the front he can, tries to get underneath in two, down the back straight away, and out of the final turn, Chili Bowl champion, Logan Seavey.